Alrighty, this uh, f of g of x means you're taking a function and you're replacing the x in that function with another entire function. So if you, if you kind of cover this thing up here, f of whatever means we're referring to this function. And I would say if you understand that this is f of whatever referring to this function, that just means we're going to do something different to x. So you want to write this equation out as you see it. And as I see it, I see it as the square root of something plus 4. Now, the parentheses are not entirely necessary, but if we get that f of something means f of something plus 4, the something plus 4 can be written as an x or a parentheses. And I usually like to, to encourage people to do the parentheses because that opens up the possibility, the opportunity now to plop something else in its place. You don't want that x there. I see too often people saying x and they try and multiply. You take that away and in its place you're putting that whole deal. So that's a 4x squared minus 4. Now the parentheses are there to show your location. That doesn't mean automatically multiply because you see a set of parentheses. Keep in mind this is just a 4x squared minus 4 and then plus 4. So minus 4 plus 4, those guys go away. You're left with the square root of 4x squared, which happens to be a perfect square. You don't have to worry about a binomial or something like that. You just take the square root of this term. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of x squared is x. There's your answer. Okay. Same thing can be done here. You're just rewriting this equation for squared minus 4, and I'll let you dump something in there. Find the inverse of f of x and the inverse of g of x. We did this earlier. Probably the one that's a little more involved is this guy, switch x and y, so x equals 4, y squared minus 4. First of all, you're going to add 4 to both sides. That leaves you with an x plus 4. After that, you're going to divide by 4, so this whole thing over 4. So that leaves me with an x plus 4 over 4 equals y squared. Well, the last thing I got here is this square that i got to undo. You take the square root of that. It's a whole thing. So g inverse of x is the notation. The square root of x plus 4 over 4 is the answer.